Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Indigo Tech Tutorials. If you're new here, then please press that subscribe button and like the video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your own Chrome extension. And actually the reason why I wanted to build this is because I was on SoundCloud and I wanted to download some cover art that I saw from this artist I liked. And I realized it's actually kind of difficult to download because you can't just download it right away. And I looked up if there's any Chrome extensions and there was one extension, but it no longer works. So I decided I would use that for a video. So that's why I'm gonna show you how you can create your own extension, which is gonna allow you to add a download link to SoundCloud and let you download the cover art for any song. So I thought this was a really cool idea. So I hope you enjoy it. And let's get into it. To create this Chrome extension, it's actually pretty easy. All we have to do is create a folder to store in. So I'm gonna go into VS Code and I'm gonna create that new folder. Now inside of this folder, uh, the main file that you're gonna use to set up your Chrome extension is the manifest.json. Inside of the manifest.json file, is where you'll add all of the information about your Chrome extension, like the name, description, but also it's where you'll include the files to be referenced. So your custom JavaScript, CSS, and HTML files, you'll add them here. And there's a few different options that you can do. So you can add, well, first off, we can add the action and we can set the pop-up and the icon. So the pop-up is referencing to the page that'll, to the HTML file that will be uh, rendered when you click on the Chrome extension. And then the icon is what icon will be displayed. So with this, we can have a basic, simple working Chrome extension. All we have to do is uh, add these two files, the menu.html and the download.png. So I'll create the menu.html file and just add some simple HTML code in here to pop up. And then we just need that download.png. So I got myself an icon for this, but if you need icons, you can go to flat icons or flaticon.com and then just look up whatever you're looking. So I, I found a download uh, somewhere right down here. And then you can download it as PNG for free. So this will work perfectly for what we need. And if you need a size, use 128 as the size. So now that we have that, we can actually already have this Chrome extension. So the way that you add Chrome extensions is you need to go in your browser and go to this URL, Chrome colon slash slash extensions. So once you're on this Chrome extension page, Normally, uh, up in the corner, there's developer mode, but normally it's turned off, so you don't see those additional options. But if we were to click this on, you see these three options here. And the one that we're gonna do is load unpacked, which allows us to upload that Chrome extension. So we just need to find where we had it stored, open that, and then it's already loaded. So if we go up into our extension bar, we'll see our extension is right here. If we click on it, this is what's displayed. And then if we go back into the code and want to change anything, see, we open it again and we get our message. So already we have our simple working Chrome extension. But for this video, we're actually not going to be doing much on this menu. So for this video, we're going to take advantage of another feature called content scripts, which allows us to add our own JavaScript file and CSS onto the websites that the user is going to be navigating to. And we're going to do that by using a match. So for us, I'm matching for any link that's going to be on SoundCloud. Then I'm going to add this CSS file called download button.css and the JS file called download button.js. And I'll show you what that's going to do. So we can go and create a download button.js file and simply we can console log our message 
and now this will get displayed anytime we navigate to SoundCloud. So I'm just gonna quickly press the refresh because I want to make sure. Oh, it could not find. So we have to quickly add that file because we referenced it. So the download button.css, even though there's nothing in it right now. So now that we've done that, I'm going to refresh the extension and we're going to open up SoundCloud. And I want to go into that console and see if we get our message. So yeah, right there we have the message. If you want to see what that looks like, uh, we can also do an alert. And you'll see whenever we get to the page, it actually should trigger an alert. Oh, we need to refresh. So remember what I said, I think every time you change the these, like the JavaScript files, you need to reload the extension for it to work. But now you'll see we get the alert, hello world, right when we navigate to SoundCloud. So already we're getting what we want. But the thing that we're doing for this video is I want every time you go to a SoundCloud page, I want to add a download button to the image. So to this cover art, I want to be able to download it. And to do that, we're going to add some custom JavaScript right here. So actually we need to do, first we, are, we would want to find this artwork whenever we come here. So for that, I'm just going to look in here. I'm going to inspect the element and then find, uh, like I'm going to look at the HTML structure first and then find a good place that I want to target to actually add my link. So I'm gonna target the SC artwork. So I'm gonna copy that class and I'll go in here and I'll say the artwork document query selector for artwork. And now we can go and console that console log this and see what that looks like. So we just have to quickly refresh the extension. And you'll see that we get the just like we wanted, we got the artwork printed out to console. So the next thing we're gonna do is add the link inside. So for that, first we need an icon. So to get the icon, we can just do the same thing that we're doing uh, with flat icon, except for I'm gonna go to hero icons because they let me copy it as SVG. And I'm gonna search up download. And there's many different options to choose from. I'll just copy this one and then the icon I'm just gonna put it as a variable but I'm gonna use back ticks because it's gonna expand th through a few lines so this is our download icon is this and then now I'm gonna create the download button for that I'm gonna use document dot create element and then I'm just gonna use a span then I'll say the download button inner HTML equals the download icon. So it's gonna have the icon inside of the link. And then we can simply add an event listener for click. And whenever it clicks, we're going to get the image. And the way that we're going to get this image is if we inspect here, we'll see that there's actually a span at the bottom level with a background image that's pointing right to this image. So we can easily add some code that'll extract the URL from that whenever it's clicked. So the code would look like the span is just the artwork query selector for span. And then to get that background image, just say the background image equals span style background image and then we can split it at the double quote so this is kind of tricky if you're watching the video but the way that I'm splitting it is that I'm using single quotes and then I'm inside I'm putting the double quote because if you look at how this is displayed it's actually using double quotes to oh, that's the way that I want to split it because it's pretty easy to do this so we split it by the double quote and then we grab the middle one by grabbing the first index 
and then that's our background image URL. Now to actually download this is kind of more of a tricky step because we're inside of a Chrome extension and well, I tried to experiment with a few different ways to download this just in JavaScript and it wasn't really working how I, how I wanted it to. But then I realized that there's a better way to do this with the Chrome APIs. So to do that, we're gonna take advantage of the Chrome API for with runtime to send message. And what this allows us to do is send a message into this background worker that we're gonna create. So we can just call this background.js and inside of here, we're gonna add some code, which is gonna be on the Chrome runtime. It's gonna add an event listener, which then we can check if the message is equal to that message that we set, which is called download file. So you'll see that we're, when we send the message, we specify this action and then we're check, checking for it here. If it does that, then we're gonna be able to do the Chrome API for downloading. So this is gonna to come together really nicely. So we've already made a lot of progress and this should be working just how we expected it. So let's test it out. Let's go and reload the extension and then we'll reload the page. Oh, but I forgot to add. So I created the download button, but I forgot to add it to the artwork. So for that, I'm just gonna say artwork.append and I'll pass in the download button. Now this should add it right to the artwork. So I didn't see it getting added. Okay, I'm gonna add some custom styling to the download button by adding the class and then inside the download button.css we can add the styling for that. So I'm just gonna give it a width to try to see if that'll help it show up. And also I'll give it a background color. Okay, so I realized that uh, there's actually multiple classes with the SE artwork. So I decided to choose another class to reference. So I used the listen artwork wrapper. So now I'm using that as artwork. And as you can see, our icon's displaying. And everything's looking good. So we don't need to have that background color anymore. And I think the width is actually good too. Now if you refresh, we'll see that we have the download button. And if we click it, oh, we have this error, could not establish connection. So I think the reason being is we created the background service, but we never added it to the manifest JSON. So to get that service worker to start running, we need to add this option to the manifest JSON. It's gonna be background, and then it's gonna have a service worker. We're gonna specify the file. Now that we've done that, we can go and reload the extension in this Chrome page, and then I'll go and reload the SoundCloud. Now, if I click on this button, it should actually do something, but it doesn't look like anything's happening. I'm gonna try to add some debugging. So there is errors. It looks like cannot read properties of undefined. We also need to update the permissions and allow downloads. Now that we've done that, we should be able to go back in here and get this running. Okay, so you saw that we just clicked the download and it downloaded the file. So just like that, we have a Chrome extension, which will allow us to 
add a download link to uh, SoundCloud images. So this is really cool and you're able to see how easily we are able to build our own Chrome extension. And it's really just like this, you can add your own JavaScript. Then we had the background worker to allow us to use the Chrome API, which came in really helpful for sending a download to the browser. Cause this was really tricky to try to work out with JavaScript just wasn't being friendly but using the Chrome API it makes that very easy and it just took us a couple of minutes to set this up so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful and if you did please press the like button and subscribe and now you can go have fun download any cover art that you want now at this point there is a few uh, tricks here so as you can see the icon wasn't added when we navigated so it only actually gets added when we do a full page refresh. So we force the reload, which that's not really a good experience uh, for the users of this Chrome extension. We want them to be able to click and then see that pop up right away. So the way that we can handle this is we actually have to go back into our code and update the JS. So what we wanna do instead of on the page load running this code, we want to actually add another listener. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up into a method. I'll just call it add download button. And then down here, I'm going to add another listener for navigation completed. But this is going to come from the back end. So Right here, we are actually sending a message to the backend, but below here, we're adding an event listener from the backend. And then we're also gonna say window on load equals this method. So every time that the navigation, so every time we navigate the page, it'll also add the button, but it will do it on load. So one thing we're gonna think about though, is we wanna not do this if we already have uh, this link. So you see we're using a class. Uh, we can do a query selector up here. We can say if artwork dot query selector for download button. So if there is one of those, we just want to return because the button is already added. Just because this is gonna probably get triggered twice if the just in case the window unload gets triggered and then this gets sent but now that we wrap this up we also need to go and update in the background JS we need to add this code which will actually whenever the navigation is completed will send a message to the tab which then will trigger this to add the download button so this should fix that issue I'm going to go into the Chrome extensions, make sure to refresh. Okay, I think everything should be good. If we refresh, I just want to make sure that everything's working properly. So when we go here, it should. refresh make sure that this log goes through navigation I don't see that happening so I think there's something oh right we need to add the permissions so another thing I was forgetting right now was we actually need more permissions for to use that web navigation and the tabs so we need to add a permission for each of these and that's what's gonna fix this so if we refresh And we go, we should see, okay, yeah, we got the adding the download button and then it also said buttons already added because I think it got, it gets triggered a few times. But as long as you have this catch to make sure that you're not adding the button multiple times, you should be good. But just like that, we were able to add the link just like that. And we fixed that little issue where it wasn't getting added every time. 
and now it will be. And then an additional thing we might want to handle is going after playlists. So this is using a different class. And all we have to do is just target one of these classes too. Like we could use the full hero artwork. We could add it up here. We could say or document.query selector full hero artwork. Oh, and we have to reload the extension. That should also add the link here, just like that. We're able to download the image. And then if we wanted to target anything else, we could just keep doing this. But I just wanted to showcase how easy it is to make your own Chrome extension and do something cool like adding your own download link to another website, just like that. I was able to download all these cover arts and I'm actually gonna publish this extension uh, so other people can use it because I feel like it's really cool.